Last Sunday was All Saints Sunday, and as John Ross mentioned in his uh, comments before the celebration video, that sort of in some ways emotionally uh, wraps up the church year. Although we have this funny time between All Saints Sunday and the beginning of the church year with Advent, and it coincides with the secular and yet very sacred at, in uh, orientation holiday of Thanksgiving. And the rest of uh, November really seems like it's well spent in the idea of being grateful for all that we have in life, the gifts uh, that God has given us, the bounty of creation. So even at times of difficulty, as we are experiencing throughout looking at the news, we can still find ways to be thankful. And of course, this is also a very natural way for us to express uh, the annual um, conversation around stewardship and around uh, giving, um, all as a response to the gratitude or, or an extension of the gratitude that we have and in response to the gifts that we have been given. So this Sunday, we will be uh, talking a lot about stewardship and talking about um, how we can respond in gratitude to all of the great things that we have. And as typical of these kinds of Sundays, we will have lots of really wonderful, familiar music uh, that, that kind of creates an environment for us to uh, express that gratitude. So we'll begin the service right off with one of the most popular hymns in our hymnal, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. These words by a poet, a hymn writer, are based on Psalm 103. It is sort of a loose translation or a fanciful version of Psalm 103. And the English composer John Goss wrote this marvelous tune specifically for these words. And uh, unusual for a hymn, Goss intended for it to be sung by unison voices throughout, although he did later provide a four-part harmonization, which appears in our hymnal as well. But uh, he did write different accompaniments for every verse. So a little bit more like a through composed song like we might expect from Schubert or even Cole Porter. Um, and yet it's very much in that hymn tradition. So you'll hear as we do it uh, here at St. John's, you'll hear some of those different harmonizations that John Goss wrote for that beautiful soaring melody. As I said, a lot of our hymns are going to be very familiar among our most popular ones. At the sequence, we'll be singing Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, that wonderful early American tune. A lot of our early American tunes come from Southern Harmony or Kentucky Harmony, and we think of them more in the Southern shape note harmony, uh, shape note tradition. Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing is actually from the Northeast, from New England, um, and yet it's, again, something that has gained a lot of popularity and use throughout the country. The choir will also be singing some very interesting hymns or anthems in the service. At the offertory, they'll be set, singing a piece by the New York-based American composer David Hurd. And it's a very jazzy, uh, jazz harmony-infused take on an, an early 20th century text that has, again, some of these ideas of waking up, awakening ourselves to all of the beauties and all of the gifts that we have been given. And it has a solo trumpet part in addition to the organ to accompany the choir. And it starts off with that trumpet, sort of a clarion call, waking us up out of our slumber. And the choir comes in in a strong unison. So again, lots of thick, crunchy chords in that sort of jazz-infused style. At the communion, the choir will be singing a setting of Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, that uh, traditional German chorale. As set by Hugo Distler in the 20th century, a very jaunty and off-kilter sort of thing with lots of energy and excitement. 
and we have a lot more great music in store for you. We hope that as you experience this season of gratitude and thanksgiving, you will spend some of your time here worshiping with us at St. John's.